Florence Nightingale was not the only woman who left her home to go to the Crimean War battlefields to help care for wounded soldiers. Mary Sickle, a woman who had been born in Kingston, Jamaica in the 1800s and became a nurse in her 40s, wanted to help these men who were being injured. She had been a nurse and cared for many people. And she went to England and tried on several occasions to talk to Florence and to join her nursing staff, but to no avail. Now, Mary wrote her own book about her life. And she said, I made up my mind that if the army wanted nurses, they would be glad of me. And with all the order of my nature, which ever carried me where inclination prompted, I decided that I would go to the Crimea. And so I did. But she did not get able, accepted by Florence, because she was a black woman. Once again, I tried and had an interview this time with one of Miss Nightingale's companions. She gave me the same reply. And I read in her face the fact that had there been a vacancy, I should not have been chosen to feel it. But Mary went and set up shop and helped many soldiers, and her help was welcome, as she explains and describes in this section of her book. The deaths in the trenches touched me deeply. Perhaps for this reason, it was very usual when a young officer was ordered into the trenches for him to ride down to Spring Hill to dine, or obtain something more than his ordinary fare to brighten his weary hours in those fearful ditches. They seldom failed on these occasions to shake me by the hand at parting, and sometimes would say, You see, Mrs. Seacole, I can't say goodbye to the dear ones at home, so I'll bid you goodbye for them. Perhaps you'll see them some day. And if the Russians should knock me over, Mother, just tell them that I thought of them all, will you? And although this might be said in a light-hearted manner, it was rather solemn. I felt it to be so, for I never failed. Although, who was I that I should preach to say something about God's providence and all relying upon it? and they were very good. No army of parsons could be much better than my sons. They would listen very gravely and shake me by the hand again while I felt that there was nothing in the world I would not do for them. Mary Sicko, who wrote The Wonderful Adventures of Mrs. Sicko in Many Lands. The first black nurse.